you're in between. You're in between that young person and that stipend that they deserve and they're putting in the work to receive. Some strong words from Mayor Cantrell reacting to David Hammer's exclusive investigation of a nonprofit she started by saying that's what caused the city program to come to a halt. Well, David, joining us now with developments in today's exchange with the mayor. Yeah, Mayor Cantrell claimed our investigation is why the nonprofit she created forward together in New Orleans can no longer spend more than a million dollars in public money she sent to that nonprofit, FTNO. But I spoke with an attorney representing the FTNO board, and he says that's not the case. Last week, our investigation showed how Mayor Latoya Cantrell and her staff controlled a nonprofit called Forward Together New Orleans then sent it more than a million dollars in city money. In her first public comments about our story, the mayor talked about the social welfare programs sure, backed so by FTNO. And thanks to some investigative reporting, I know that Hammer, you've been doing, you've also discovered uh, that Forward Together New Orleans filled gaps uh, that were real needs in this community that no one else was filling. We did report how FTNO raised private donations for aid for immigrants, COVID relief, and gun violence prevention. Forward Together New Orleans raised millions of dollars and spent those dollars meeting people where they were in our community. But we also asked the mayor about a program called Earn and Learn. She sent FTNO half a million dollars in city money to pay stipends to 125 young people. But now it can't pay them because FTNO's bank accounts are frozen. So while you're asking me whether or not our young people will get their stipend, absolutely they will. But you know what? You're in between. You're in between that young person and that stipend that they deserve and they're putting in the work to receive. Dana Henry, an attorney representing FTNO's original board members, says it was a subpoena from the inspector general, not our investigation, that caused FTNO to freeze its accounts. Are you accusing me of causing this to stop? I mean, the IG gave anything. that subpoena, I not did me. Not, I did not accuse you, sir, of anything. But there are more problems now for FTNO. FTNO's original board chair fired executive director Sean Randolph in August, but just last week, Randolph filed official papers with the Louisiana Secretary of State, claiming new board members took over in July and he's still in charge. He also created a separate FTNO website where he alleges public money was misused. I know that none of the money was misused. Now, Dana Henry, the lawyer representing FTNO's original board member, says they will be taking legal action, action to stop Randolph from acting as the executive director. And meanwhile, Katie and Sharif, the city programs that depend on this continue to be in limbo.